What's up guys and cars to all a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 2014 Chrysler Grand Voyager CRD. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Cosmic, Cosmic. For sneak peeks, behind the scenes, short watch reviews and much more. Remember to go find my new Instagram and TikTok account, I promise you will not regret it. So let's move on to the front of this Chrysler. So as you can see the front of this car looks very nice, it looks very unique and luxurious. Especially with this chrome grille and the long Chrysler badge. I really like how this front looks like. You do not have any LED lights on this car and you do not have any spotlights which is a bummer so let me show you how the lights look like on this car so it's the normal daytime running lights the park lights the headlights the brights the indicators with the lights and the indicators without the lights. So as you can see, those lights aren't looking too bad, but they aren't as bright as LED lights. But neither than that, they are pretty good for its category. You also do have a nice chrome strip on the bumper, and this car sits pretty low for a van. It looks very sporty. So let me move on to the specs of this car. So as you can see when you open up the bonnet, this engine bay isn't as cramped as the VW Combi or some other vans. It is pretty spacious. So this car is a 2.8 four-cylinder turbocharged diesel, which produces 150 brake horsepower or 110 kilowatts. This car uses 360 newton meters of torque, and this car goes zero to one comes in 12.8 seconds. This car's top speed is 185 kilometers or 115 miles and this car is front wheel drive which is pretty surprising. I would expect this car to be all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. This car weighs 2.1 tons or 4,600 pounds. And this car is pretty economical for something that weighs 2.1 tons as this car has about 13 liters per hundred pounds on the city on the highway 9 liters per 100 kilometers so that is also a very good number because this car can carry more than eight people this car comes in a four-speed automatic transmission and finally this car retails at eighteen thousand three hundred dollars in america two hundred sixty six thousand right in south africa 
and in Europe 15,400 euros. So should you buy this car? Is this car worth your money? Wait until the further part of your so you can see if this car is for you. So this is the back of this Chrysler. As you can see, it looks very unique for a van. I really like how the Chrysler Grand Voyages look. So as you can see, you do have your tinted smash and grab heated windows over here with your very nice wiper. You also do have your windscreen washer over here, which is also pretty powerful. So you also do get a very nice chrome strip like at this era of the General Motors cars with the Grand Voyager sticker over there or this text it looks very nice especially with this Chrysler badge right on top you do have rear parking sensors and you do have some more chrome and a nice black plastic here so you must not scratch up your beautiful white paint so let me show you how the lights look like on this car this is how the normal daytime running lights As you can see, the birds really love this car as I got very excited by seeing it. This is the second time this has happened in the past week. So yeah, just ignore this piece of bird poop over there because I can't clean it right now. So this is how the normal daytime running lights look like. The tail lights. The brake lights with the lights. The indicators with the lights. The indicators without the lights. The brake lights without the lights. And of course, the reverse lights. So as you can see, those lights look very nice. So let's open up the boots of this car before any birds on me. So as you can see, when we open up the boots, it is a hideout. So no birds or rain can get to you. So this boot is pretty deep. And when you put down these seats and those seats over there, you do have a flat bed. You do not have a cigarette lighter over here, but you do have one piece of storage over here, which is pretty nice. But there's no nets or things to hold it. Like let's say you want to put some bolts there or something. There's no nets to put it there. But either than that, the carpet in here is the same carpet used in the car. And talk about the quality in this boot. It is plastic and this plastic can really bend when you touch it. But either than that, it's a nice good sized boot. So you also do get your nice hooks over here if you do want to hook up some things. So let me move on to the interior of this car before any birds poop on me. So this is the interior of this Chrysler Grand Voyager. And as you can see, you're greeted with your General Motors chimes. But you do have a very nice leather steering. I'm going to talk about the quality just now. So let's begin with the center console of this car. And as you can see, you do have your old school radio you connect like controls you do have a nice clock a clock in a minivan two ac vents has this traction control off button and your ac vents dual temperature ac vents and also your rear control some storage two cigarette lighters and some more storage over there so let me talk to you about the screen over here i'm sure you can take it out and put the screen the you connect screen and if you do pay an extra price you can get the uconnect screen for this car so then talking about the ac you do have your two zone temperature for your front passengers and for your rear passengers they can also have their own temperature setting also for their span fan speed and their circulation you can control it from here you can switch off the rear ac through here and yeah you can even lock it so they must not even touch it you also do you have your automatic AC which is also pretty cool so this is the other part of the center console of this car and as you can see you do have some storage over there with a nice logo over there you do have a nice handbrake with four speed automatic and then you do have a nice big cup holder but yeah that's this that's the other part of the center console so then this 
This is where the driver sits and as you can see you do have your four analog dials. They look very nice. They're like in chrome. Here's what I found. I really like how they look like. And then you do have a nice leather steering wheel with your very minimalistic design. You also do have your nice like compass button. You do have your cruise control. You do have your very traditional General Motors stalk which has everything. Wipers, indicators, lights, everything. <laughs> But yeah, this car does have a, have a compass as you can see, but yeah, it's a nice car. So now this is the other part of driver's side. As you can see, there is a nice AC vent, your light controls, your interior lighting, and yeah, and you can move up and down the lights with a nice wooden trim. And going down there, there's nothing much to say. So then this is... The door panel of this car and as you can see it's made out of plastic you do have a nice chrome handle full electric window central locking electric mirrors and then you do have a nice handle you have a nice storage over there with a nice speaker <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering alex what is this button over here these two buttons over here it's pretty simple you can open up the rear 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 windows like that tilt it up i'll show you now So yeah, this is what these buttons do, which is also pretty cool. But these switches look like it's very controversial from all of those General Motors cars. And this very nice handle, it looks like it's from a caddy, a Cadillac. It's just missing the wood. But it's pretty cool, neither less. So this is the passenger side of the interior. And as you can see, you do have an air vent, you do have a nice wooden trim. And then you do have a cubby hole and inside that cubby hole is nothing too interesting. It's just a cubby hole. But yeah, now talking about the quality in here, you have a plastic dashboard, it's not soft touch, plastic over here, this is not real wood, but yeah, it's just plastic over here, the only leather piece is the steering wheel, plastic here, 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 here even, here, okay, this is vinyl. So then you also do have a nice light over here with some storage for your sunglasses, Oh, that's also pretty cool. You also do have a nice camera over here so you can see the people. Damn, that is very cool. I really... Oh, wow. That is actually so cool. <laughs> wow. So you can see your passengers. That is flipping cool. So then you also do have a nice light over here with a sensor. Yeah, I really like this design over here for this mirror. Oh, man. That looks so cool. So yeah, you also do have a nice armrest. Each passenger has an armrest over here for their door, but you don't have an armrest over here though. So these seats are manual. You can move them forward, backwards. You can move this forwards, backwards, but you cannot move it up or down, which is not that nice. So I'm going to move on to the back of this car. So this is the back of this Chrysler Grand Voyager and as you can see I feel like a VIP in here. First of all I do have enough leg room, it's not too much but I do have enough, I do feel comfortable. These seats are a bit hard I must admit and they're not leather, they are vinyl. So there's no sense of concert to go over here. So the only sense, the other part of sense of concert is up here where you do have your air conditioning controls. You, you even have automatic over there so then over here you do so this is the back of the seat you do have a nice table and a nice net yes you heard it a table you have a table but you can also move these seats back if you want so yeah I do have more than enough space so and this is the door panel for the rear passengers as you can see it's just made out of plastic you do have electric windows nice handle your lock and a cup holder so this is how the electric windows work 
electric windows. You also do have a nice AC vent up there and a nice handle. And yeah, talking about the quality back here, it is plastic here, 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 here. Oh, even here, this is not even the vinyl over here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna move on. So let's move on to the back over there. And I can easily just walk over there. A bit tall for this car. And as you can see, I'm at the back. I'm gonna now clap and I'm gonna take the camera. And just like that, with a clap of a hand, I just got the camera. So as you can see, this is the back of the seat over here. It's just plastic, you don't have a net or a table. So then this is the door panel for the rear passengers. And as you can see, I have a nice speaker, some storage, more storage, a cup holder. And yeah, if you have a nice AC vent and a nice hook to put up your laundry if you're gonna haul your laundry like the Americans call it you have a nice light over there and yeah that's pretty much it you don't have a switch to open these up so you have to ask the driver driver please open up my windows and the driver says no then you're screwed so I, I can't put up the seats. I think it's broken. But yeah, you do have the same amount of seats. Legroom is not gonna. It's not that good at the back. This is for the kids, the little kids. So I'm gonna move on to the side of this car. So this is the side of this Chrysler Grand Voyage, and as you can see, it looks very pretty. It looks very unique, especially with these tinted windows. You cannot see anything in there, and if you do have the option with the curtains no one will see what's inside of your car you do have a lot of chrome as this area of the gm's general motors cars they do have a lot of chrome and you do have your stow and go sticker if you're american what does stow and go mean so you do have your 17 inch alloy mags and those look very nice they're also shiny looking like chrome one thing i don't like about this car is this over here anyone can steal your gas because this does not lock with the car which kind of sucks in my opinion but also you can also buy a nice lock for your fuel cap you also do have your nice roof racks over here and you do not have your color coded mirror caps these are black plastic but even on that you have a very unique looking side with all your body lines so my opinion is guys i think this is a great family car this car is very good if you have like eight children this car is very good for road trips this car has enough power to carry a trailer you can go anywhere with this car and make lots of memories with it and you can stow some things on there or haul some things exactly like the american say it so i'm going to put the young car on the screen so you can see the scores that i gave this car so for the daily scores i have this car six for futures eight for comforts four for quality nine for practicality and seven for value which brings a total of 34 out of 50 for the daily scores. Now for the weekend scores, I just got 7 for styling, 2 for acceleration, 5 for handling, 7 for fun factor, and 7 for cool factor. Which brings a total of 28 out of 50 for the weekend scores. So the Toyota on car score is 62 out of 100. So if you have this for our video, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, the subscribe button, like button, add to notifications, and never miss an upcoming video like this. What do you think about this car? I'd love to know your opinion on this car down in the comment section below. So have a great day as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.